Looks like we finally got a dolphin. We've been trying to capture one forever. Come back, dolphin. Hi, we're Josh and Tamara, and this is our 46-foot hunter sailboat, Honey Time. Join us every Friday as we learn to navigate these new waters and refit, renovate, and restore our new home. Thanks for all your support along the way. We did easy stuff like rebuilt the stereo and lights in, uh, in our hardtop yesterday. And uh, just did some knick-knacky things around here, pumped up the dinghy and stuff. That was Sunday. That was taking it easy. <laughs> But it's sun, uh, Saturday. So we woke up this morning and both of us are ready to jump at it. We got some weather coming later in the week and it's perfect conditions today to start our painting. So we've just had coffee and we're getting ready for that. Um, washed down the deck and everything this morning. Got the fresh bird poops off and everything. Things are drying out and uh, Tamara's just brushing her teeth and getting ready for the day. Morning. Hi, baby. <laughs> you ready to paint some floors? Yep. Awesome. So we, we bought some key re grip and uh, we're redoing the no slip surfaces uh, walkways on our decks. It's kind of blown out and uh, needs to be redone. Uh, Tamara's gonna start cleaning and taping all that off. And at the same time, I'm gonna pull our uh, Yanmar gauge kit out. It's, uh, it's completely deteriorated and UV damaged and the tack doesn't work and stuff. So you can't even read anything on it. So I'm gonna yard that out and then I'm gonna repaint the uh, bezel it sits in and then uh, rewire the new one in. So, and I've got this sucker here. Tamara's gonna start on this. We're gonna get all this repainted today. It's a bit breezy out. As you can see, it's just blown out. But we're just picking things off. Man, it is windy. Nice. Okay, time to get busy, as they say. I have to give a quick shout out to my mom who is an amazing quilter, but she let us borrow one of her cutting knives and it is absolutely amazing to get around all the edges. You just put the tape on and then you cut, uh, just to follow it and cut it and it makes a perfect circle, perfect line for everything you're doing so much nicer than trying to piece tape together or cut it with scissors or a straight blade. You just roll it on through and it's awesome. Thanks, Mom. It's so funny. Josh is going to, he does the first cut on all of our uh, video that we do and kind of sets it up together and goes from there. And he's gonna laugh at me when he looks at the time lapse on doing this. He's gonna be like, babe, we're not building a piano. It's just non-skid. I am like uber precision over here, which I know is not required, but that's what I do. So it might take a little bit longer to do than most people, but I want to get it done right. <laughs> Don't laugh at me, babe. <laughs>
This is a lot of caulking in here. Just started scraping it out. It's a mess. Look at this. I found this inside. Look at all this unused space. I'm actually gonna see about getting some hatches. We'll cut them out and use this. The whole inside of this cockpit here is empty. We could put all kinds of goodies in there. Storage is a premium. Why not use it, right? I gotta peel caulking forever and see if I can make this thing. This is so beat up. I'm gonna sand it out and stuff. See if I can make it look pretty again. We're slowly pulling every little piece out of the boat and cleaning and stuff. And I kept thinking, I want to get in here and see what's under here. And clean it out because I could see some junk in the cracks. But look at this. So that uh, prevents uh, water from flowing out how it's supposed to naturally. It builds up and everything. And it's just gross. So I'm going to vacuum and scrub that out real quick. And then I can check on all the steering linkages and stuff while I'm in here. <laughs> so we got a Josh in a box. <laughs> Baby, that looks uh, very uncomfortable. That's great. I just don't know if I can get out after. <laughs> oh, sweetheart. Why are you in the lazarette? So I'm bolting our new stuff together. I didn't want to use screws to put our uh, new control panel on. I want nuts and bolts. So if we ever have to pull it off, we have to do this again, but let's just hope it's all beauty now. <laughs> I don't you know how you're so going to get the screws in. Well, but... I'm going to have to close the door somehow. Yeah. So. Okay. Anyway, this. this is funny. <laughs> got one side completely done and I want you to tell me if you can see the difference. Check this out. Look how beautiful. Isn't that awesome? It went on so well and so easy. We only had to do one coat of it and it covered perfectly. Um, it wasn't in bad shape to begin with. It was just worn away so we just covered over again it's a little bit windy and a little bit warm so it was drying like that i had to pull the tape as josh was rolling i was like one two three one two three get it done but what an unbelievable difference just looking from here you can see the difference the major change that it's made i'm so excited to get it finished up it's totally changed the look of the boat and as soon as we get this done then we're going to be able to wax the rest of it and it's going to look amazing today's just been full of little jobs and projects that we've been doing that weren't really well this one was on our list but josh has been working on a couple things that weren't really on our list and it's just making such a huge difference in the boat ah, she's coming together we're just about prepped out oh you can hear me it's pretty windy we're just about prepped out on this side um we're just finishing taping it and you can see this the difference is awesome oh, I did, that did you so good but we're doing the whole hard top in it too we have a bimini top coming that's going to be gray light gray like this as well and uh, so i just prepped all this out i'm just going to bang this out now and get the whole hard top done and uh then we just have right under the boom here to do not a bad little sunday no it's pretty good got lots done I got the instrument panel done i got that whole back end under the um, helm cleaned out and done and then reinstalled yeah. we've got all the floor done almost we'll have the roof done we're gonna earn some beers tonight we are earning yeah. earn it <laughs> good return <laughs> earn it earn it on investment earn and burn oh, oh I like may that one. maybe today Maybe. I hope so. I want a sunburn. <laughs> I want a sunburn too. Okay, I gotta get to work. <laughs> All right, here we go. How's she going, baby? 
It's so scary. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. Oh, that looks so different. That's awesome. It's getting much better. I like it. Yeah. All right, she's installed. Back in place. Looks gorgeous. It only took a little bit of a contortionist effort, but you yep. managed to make it happen. Yeah, I don't need to see a Cairo anytime soon. I'm good. <laughs> you might actually. <laughs> Feel solid. Yeah. So we have an idea for in this area here too, because we found out as Josh was in doing the, the gauge that there's tons, this whole area here is completely empty and hollow. So you figured that you were going to- Yeah, I'll see if we can buy a hatch door that we can put in here. That's a great place for storage. There's mm -hmm. a ton of space there that's unused. Yeah. And there's even, it's all finished glass in there and a nice shelf in there. So I'm like, be a great place to store stuff even totally. if you get like bins in there or something like that to completely put things so if yeah. you got a big enough door i mean you could yeah i got some great ideas for that but i think it'd be a great place for extra storage yeah so awesome yeah not a today project Ooh. probably not even a next week project Ooh. but it's an idea down the road it is so. for sure there we are yeah now what's the plan today we have decided it's going to storm for the next three days after today yeah so we're gonna do more outside stuff today so I'm gonna start polishing we got all the painting done yeah so I'm gonna get out the polisher and start on as my buddy Gary would say the backyard <laughs> and do the backyard first Let's yeah pick the hard spot and get it over with and the rest is easy but yeah the hard part's gonna be the cockpit and that's the part that we're in the most too the sooner we get it waxed the less we have to keep cleaning it because it's keep right now there's like no wax on it whatsoever and it keeps scuffing everything keeps rubbing off on it so he keeps scrubbing it and scrubbing it and yeah. it just needs a good layer of wax and protection on yep. it so i'm gonna hit the polisher on it hard now yep make it pretty yeah let's Good. shine this baby up done. get her done let's get it done awesome Probably, arguably, the most fun job on a boat is uh, waxing and polishing, right, babe? Definitely. And this sucker is in rough shape. It's really oxidized. I've been polishing and polishing and trying to avoid doing a cut because that's a messy big job. And I've cut the back part here on the sugar scoop. It was really bad. But it's coming out. It's like we're starting to get some sheen in here. I don't know if you can see that on here. But it's getting pretty shiny. We've got most of the cockpit done. I gotta do the helm. And we're just kind of working our way around to see if we can finish up the sugar scoops and the whole propane locker area and stuff now. But it's definitely looking a million times better, hey? It's getting there. Yeah. It's, uh, it's exhausting. My arms are tired and I've only just started helping. Oh, I'm sacked. Yeah. Hey everyone, so while Josh is getting down and dirty with the cockpit trying to get a nice wax put on it, I'm taking the opportunity in this gorgeous sunshine to get our cushions uh, washed and cleaned. So I've taken all the covers off and we bought this um, uh, microban spray. So out in the sunshine because the UV rays are great for killing all kinds of bacteria and stuff and then we're just giving it an extra little spritz with this stuff here you're supposed to spray it on get the foam nice and wet and then let it dry and once it's dry it should be sanitized and clean so like we said it's going to be yucky the next couple of days and i thought hey let's get out and enjoy the sunshine and get our cushions all nice and clean and happy so here we go All right, so our cushions are now all washed. They came out beautifully uh, from the wash machine and now we get to play the fun-filled game of stuff the foam back inside the cover. Yes, <laughs> after sweating our nuts off outside. Yes. Polishing. The cockpit we got, area. We got the whole cockpit done, yeah. which is nice. It looks so good. I'll take you up there to check it out in a second. But right now what I did when I took them apart is I labeled all of the bags 
all of the cushion covers and the cushions so we don't have to play the game of trying to figure out which one uh, is which. Yeah, and, me. Yeah, <laughs> wake up, <Yeah>. baby. <laughs> so what we've decided I think we're going to do is just go grab a cushion that fits in the thing as we go instead of trying to load them all in here at once and hopefully make short order of the job. Yeah. I hope. And then showers and a break. Yes. We've been tapped out today. Yeah, it's been Again. a busy one. Again, as usual. Yeah. So that's what we do. Anyways, it's time to put the cushions in so we can have a nice relaxing area again. But check out this cockpit really quickly. So look how shiny and white and soft everything is. It's absolutely awesome. It turned out so good and just can't wait to get the rest of the boat done but uh so far this was done that's the hardest job i think on the entire boat is the cockpit area like i said so yeah now it's time for flat surfaces and it's going to be done like that right <laughs> all right on to cushions <laughs> we go clean fresh beautiful cushions they smell so good they had such a musty smell to them before so yay they're clean all the stains are out of them they did puff up being in the sun all day today and we've got new fresh cushions so i guess we've got a little bit of time on our hands that we don't have to actually cover them yay anyways pretty yeah that was worth doing yes i don't love the color but you know what? It is what it is for now. Totally. They're yeah. fresh and they're clean and they cleaned right up, honestly. So yeah. there's nothing wrong with them. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Well, we're going to call it a day. Thanks for watching. <laughs> it's been another crazy day. We are so sore. Our backs, necks, hips, shoulders, knees, bug bites, whatever. It's all good. <laughs> Glamorous, as I said before. Yeah, Very glamorous. Super this glamorous. Whole sailboat thing. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like button, send us a comment, let us know what you think of what we're doing, or if you're like, you know what, we're tired of looking at your boat projects. Can you do something more interesting? Like sail? Like sail. It's we can't yet, but we will coming, soon. Yeah. We promise. We're just a whole not there yet. A bunch of maintenance to do yeah. on the engine and that should happen this week or next week, something like yeah. that. We're not sure. So like everything, schedules are difficult. Getting people to do things and to get phone calls back and all of it is Parts difficult. Supply. Yeah. So everything. Anyways, we will sail at some point. This is not just a house, it's a sailboat. And <laughs> it's gonna happen. And tomorrow we're getting big storms. I hope we get some of that. Yes, they're, they're, they're calling for a, t a possible tornado. Yeah. Hail, okay. tornado, lightning, thunder. But it's going to be in the afternoon, so tomorrow morning we'll be able to do some more stuff. Yeah. <laughs> so tune in for more action. <laughs> Bye. Bye. Okay, so here's the thing. We were just sitting here, we made a Caesar, and we were relaxing, getting prepared for dinner. And all of a sudden my phone went beep, beep, beep. And there's a tornado warning. We have no idea what we're supposed to do right Not now. Not just a warning, it's, it's a like, take get shelter. To somewhere. So we're packing up. Yeah. To get out of here. Yeah, but it's we don't not, know where to go. We don't know what to do. It's not that crazy here right now. No. We don't want to be naive either. We no. Don't, we don't know. No, we don't know. So we're going to pack up a few storm's things. storm's right above us. It's thundering and lightning and going crazy. So we're shutting down all the power on the boat. Um, in case it does get hit by lightning, we are the tallest mast out here. <laughs> in this marina so there you go there um anyways tornadoes this is new yeah this is crazy all right we'll keep you updated <laughs> let I'm you stuck. know what happened